Hello, Glowworms. I recently had the incredible opportunity to visit the 35th Fall Foliage Antique Show and Sale at the Dorflinger Glass Museum in White Mills, PA. This was my first time exploring the famous Dorflinger Glass Factory and its stunning museum. But before diving into the museum's treasures, I couldn't resist checking out the antique show. As you walked in, there were stunning displays of authentic Dorflinger crystal for sale. But of course, there were also many other types of glassware and antiques to shop through. As a lover of all things glowy, I was particularly drawn to a few of the Vaseline glass pieces out for sale. Like this beautiful early American pressed glass vase that I unfortunately already have in my collection. However, there were definitely a few other items that caught my eye, including these phenomenal perfume bottles, these satin glass pieces, and this colorful collection of art glass. There was also a bunch of vintage costume jewelry to go through. I did find a few glowy pieces that were out of my budget, but absolutely tempting. Overall, I have to admit that I was surprised by the variety of offerings, considering I wasn't exactly sure what to expect. I honestly thought that the sale was going to be mostly cut crystal and early American pressed glass, but I was happily surprised that there was so much more to see. Though of course there was a ton of lovely crystal to peruse. And though I did find a few hidden glowy goodies in the sale, I did not end up purchasing anything for myself. I did, however, love seeing all of the rare and beautiful things that were out. And it was a great opportunity to connect with local vendors and to take the time to appreciate the craftsmanship and artistry of the past. Now, after a delightful morning spent exploring the antique show, it was time to turn my attention to the heart of the Dorflinger legacy, the Glass Museum. During its prime, the Dorflinger Glassworks produced beautiful brilliant cut lead crystal for many dignitaries, including several White House presidents. And just by what I saw for sale at the antique show, I can see firsthand why it was so desirable. Now, on your way up to the museum from the ground floor, it is absolutely a necessity that you check out the original factory furnaces that have been lovingly maintained and kept on display for visitors. The heat from these furnaces would be used for glass blowing as well as to run the steam-powered glass cutting lathes that were installed in the early 19th century. These steam-powered lathes were extremely important to the company as they provided stronger and steadier power, allowing the cutter to make deeper and more precise cuts. This allowed the company to create more elaborate glass patterns. And now these fabulous pieces of history are on display in a cafe-esque setting along with many other unique pieces of artwork. One of the art pieces in the installation was actually quite special to me, which made this visit all the more extraordinary. After having marveled at these phenomenal historic artifacts, I couldn't wait to explore the rest of the museum. Upstairs, a world of sparkling glass awaited me. And in addition to sparkling glass, there were also many captivating exhibits to inspect where you could learn all about the glass making and engraving processes. I learned so much that has ultimately given me an even greater appreciation for the craftsmanship and precision used by glass makers of the past. After viewing these exhibits, as I walked around the glassware in the museum, I really took in the intricate cuts, the vibrant colors, and the delicate details of each piece on display. There were rows and rows of fabulous antiques on display. And some pieces even had their very own unique stories to accompany them. Like this cut glass baseball bat that was made for J. Edward Murphy, who was the left fielder for the Philadelphia Athletics in 1913. Other pieces on display were simply too exquisite not to document. 
Everything that I saw at the museum was without a doubt absolutely amazing, but if I had to pick a favorite, it might actually be this little cologne bottle. And I'm pretty sure you can probably guess why. But again, everything was simply breathtaking. During this visit, I definitely felt a sense of wonder and astonishment for the artisans who brought these pieces to life. And it's truly hard to imagine the skill and patience required to create such masterpieces. This trip to the Dorflinger Glass Museum has inspired me to delve deeper into the world of antique glass. I can't wait to explore more antique shows and antique museums in the future. If you're a glass enthusiast, I highly recommend visiting the Dorflinger Glass Museum. It's absolutely a magical experience. Thank you so much for watching and happy hunting!